was ever written began in the mind of God, existed before a single word was uttered, and found manifestation in simple vibration. Let there be. Before a single word was written, before any oral tradition had been shared, before any sacred text, scripture had been conveyed, there was God. God is, God was, God will forever be. God is in control. It's January 2021. Scientists believe that our universe has existed for 14 billion years, and yet we have allowed one year, 2020, to get us all jacked up. Many of us are ready for 2020 to be gone, and it is. We are beginning a new year, 2021. I have no idea what the future holds, but I do know that God is still in charge. Let's not get distracted. I think that fear toyed with our faith in 2020. Corona cramped our sense of community and the pandemic and politics pushed us toward a loss of patience and maybe even a loss of hope. But I am reminded today that God is still in charge and we need not get distracted from that fact. In the book of beginnings, in the book of Genesis, Genesis 3, 6, we read about a woman. The Bible says the woman was convinced that the tree was beautiful. The fruit looked delicious. She took of the fruit, she ate the fruit, and she shared it with her husband who was with her, and he ate the fruit as well. The couple got distracted. They forgot that God is in charge. They forgot that God is still in charge. As a result, their fear replaced their faith. The virus of sin severed their community and their present day picture pushed them into hopelessness. Does that sound familiar to you, 2020 and us? This Bible story demonstrated that God was still in charge. Right away, we read in Genesis 3.15 that God unveiled his plan to return his distracted children back from exile. He put them out of the garden because of their sin. But right away, he had a plan to bring them back. And even today, we as God distracted children are being brought back from exile. We are in exile today. In fact, all of humanity is in exile. First Peter 2.11 says, Beloved, I urge you as sojourners and exiles to abstain from the passions of the flesh, which wage war against your soul. The easy reading version says, Dear friends, you are like visitors and strangers in this world. So I beg you to keep your lives free from the evil things you want to do. Those desires that fight against your true selves. Do not get distracted. In this age of pandemic and quarantine and viruses, don't get distracted. What might be some of the evil things we want to do if we're distracted? You may want to complain. You may be saying, oh man, I'm so sick of this. I am so sick of being in this situation. When is this pandemic gonna end? I'm ready to go back to school. I'm sick of this online stuff. You may want to complain. 
You may want to doubt. You may want to doubt God. What in the world is God doing? Does he know what he is doing? Why doesn't he just send a cure and this virus could be over and we could get back to our lives? Does God know what he's doing? You may even want to cast blame. Man, if those Chinese people had a, had a better handle on handling this virus, we wouldn't be in the mess we're in today. You may want to cast blame. Wuhan. You may even want to usurp the very throne of God. You may be saying, if I were God, I would do blah, 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 X, Y, Z. I would handle this situation. Well, the good news is you are not God. I am not God. And we are grateful for that. In fact, we are simple exiles. We're in this world and we are exiles. Because we're exiles, there's a tendency for our flesh to wage war against our true selves. Our true selves are citizens. We are citizens of the kingdom. And for a long time, we have been exiled from that kingdom. But our scripture says we've only been exiled for just a little while. Don't get distracted. First Peter 1 6 new living translation lets us know there is wonderful joy ahead even though we must endure many trials for a little while peter is reminding us and he reminded the people then that we're only in this for a little while a little while and we will be back with god in the kingdom. But for now, he says, we'll have to suffer many trials. We'll have to go through a few things. We'll have to deal with some things that aren't so pleasant. All of that may happen in exile, but joy, great joy, Peter says, is coming. So on this first Sunday in 2021, let's be encouraged. Let's trust God. Let's believe that he knows what he is doing and that this won't last forever. Let's not let one bad year distract us and get us jacked up. Let's trust him. Can we pray? God, our Father, thank you. Thank you that you have already put a plan in place to bring us back to you. Thank you that even though we are in exile, a return is coming. Help us to trust you and wait patiently on your promises, to wait patiently on that return. Be with all of us in this new year of 2021, which is not a new year for you, but a year you already purposed and planned. God, we love you, we trust you, and we thank you for a new return. Amen. Thank you.